Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we'll try to understand recursive relationships. So far, we have covered uh, different types of relation relationship types, different relationship types, and uh, the diagram that we have, the ER diagram that we have obtained so far is this is the diagram that we have obtained. Now, we will try to understand a new concept which is bit logical to understand and bit complex to understand. We suggest you to watch this video as many times as possible until you get the clarity. And we are going to cover this concept very slowly and uh, step by step we are going to understand this concept now what is meant by recursive relationships if a same entity type participates more than once in a relationship type if the same entity type participates more than once in a relationship type in a different role then it is called as recursive relationship so let's try to understand this example so by this definition we not be able, we may not be able to understand this let's try to understand this by using uh, uh, using this employee example now consider this supervisor attributed supervisor attribute we have discussed in our requirements that every employee will be having a supervisor every employee will be having a supervisor so what it states is an employee uh, this employee uh, relationship this employee uh, entity type with this attribute of supervisor he is also an employee supervisor is also an employee think about it so this point is important to understand supervisor is also an employee so uh, an entity type participates in more than one relationship so the same entity type is participating in the relationship supervision so we are going to create a new uh, uh, new relationship type called supervision so this employee is participating on supervision uh, on the same relationship type in different roles one role is supervisor and the other role is supervisee okay if the same entity uh, 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 entity type is participating more than once on a relationship then those kind of relationship types are called as a recursive relationship Re recursive relationships so now uh, this supervisor is also an employee being the supervisor also an employee so the new relationship type is this is supervisor supervisor and this supervisor uh, what are the entity types upon which the supervisor is acting upon so it is on the same entity type which is employee okay so this entity type is acting so this entity type is uh, participating more than once on a single relationship type on the supervisor relationship type this entity type is acting more than once but in different roles what are those roles one of the role is um, uh, supervisee supervisee means just an employee under the boss and the other role is supervisor so one of the role is uh, supervisee supervisee and the other role is supervisor uh, think about this point again and again so one of the role is supervisor and the other one is supervisee supervision here it is okay so now now what is the cardinality ratio and participation of this uh, uh, relationship type so let's consider this this as employee and this as uh, supervision so we are not having uh, two entity types the same entity type uh, but it is acting uh, 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 so uh, the instances are acting on the same entity type it is a employee okay let's take the employees as e1 e2 e3 e4 e5 and let's take this supervisee as a role number so the role of the supervisee as number two for better understanding and the role of the supervisor as a role one okay because it is acting on the same entity type we, we should not get confused by the lines that we are going to draw and the relationship instances are r1 r2 r3 r4 r5 now 
an employee in role 2 means being a supervisor every employee should have a boss so he is acting as an instance and he, the boss is so he is one role is one so this is one okay so don't make it okay so with the role and this employee's boss so role two means he is supervisee so he is under the control of whom it is uh, assume that it is one uh, e5 employee 5 is the boss okay and e2 let's assume that e2 in role 2 he is uh, having uh, the boss is e1 let's assume that the boss is e1 okay and uh, again if you take e3 e3 take him as supervisee in the role of supervisee and the boss is uh, let's take him as e5 e5 okay and the role is one okay and similarly e4 e4 as a supervisee don't get confused as a supervisee see here it is and the boss is assume that it is one e1 e1 in the role of e okay and if you take uh, e5 e5 as a supervisee the instance and the boss is assume that he is e4 this is one okay okay so don't get confused okay so these this is this is the uh, this is how the employees and uh, uh, supervisors and supervisees are related of the same entity type employee so now what is the cardinality ratio with respect to to the supervisor if you consider them as supervisors with respect to to the supervisors what is the cardinality ratio a supervisor maximum participation see here supervisors means e5 is a supervisor e4 is a supervisor because they are having two participations e4 e5 and e1 is having two participations which means which means that they are they are the supervisors and e2 e3 are supervisees so with respect to, to the supervisor the participation is n the participation is n the maximum number is cardinality ratio the maximum number is n with respect to, to supervisee consider only supervisees means just employees so here the participations are only one okay with respect to the supervisees it is one so what is the cardinality ratios it is one is to n okay so the supervisor's cardinality ratio should be should be written on this side and the supervisee's cardinality ratio should be written on this side okay and what about the participation what about the participation are all these employees uh, supervisors no partial participation are all the employees employees no there are some bosses so both of them some of them are uh, having a zero participation and some of them are having uh, with respect to, to the roles so don't get confused so i'm i'm stressing that don't get confused because being the supervisor uh, all the employees are not supervisors and all the employees are not supervisees so both of them are having partial participation okay so uh, both of them are partial participation if double lines means full participation single line so we are going to take it as a partial participation and these are the cardinality ratios 1 is to n or n is to 1 okay so this is all about recursive relations uh, relationships hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching